Hey, check it out. I just picked my first country gentleman corn. This year is not very full. It's actually probably a little a little too soon to pick it, but it's picked. I'm gonna eat it. This one here came out really nice. It's almost entirely full. And um, I'm pretty sure it's at the peak of its perfection. So this is gonna be good. And just look at how long it is. It's like, hmm. Well, anyway, it's going a little bit beyond my wrist. So I'm gonna say this is about about 12 good inches. Yeah, I would say so. In the meantime, I got a bunch of peaches, but most of them are like, I they came off the tree like um looking like this and then there's like a spoil spot on it or whatever so I just washed them off I washed them off washed off all the rot I'm gonna take them upstairs and uh, cut them up and put them in the freezer yeah this actually is I cut off all, I mean I washed off all the bad spots so yeah, it looks terrible, but it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, we've been having so much rain that, um, you know, by the time it stopped raining, and because, I mean, last week all the peaches were hard. They were hard, and I was, I was my son was picking them, and um, they were still very hard, so I didn't bother collecting any of them because I said, well, What's the point? So, but, um, I mean, literally, we've had rain just about every day. And these are tomatoes that I picked today also. Um, and, uh, it's just been raining and raining and raining. And, um, it's just been too much. And so, a lot of the peaches, I looked out the window a couple days ago. And, uh, whereas before you could see all the peaches, the tree loaded with peaches, now you can kind of see that the peaches had, there are some peaches on the tree, but they're like beneath the leaves, so, um, so anyway, I came out today and I picked them, almost all of the, the ones that were left, <clears throat> and that's what I have, is a bunch of half-spoiled peaches, so, rather than just, like, reject them, I'm just gonna, like, cut them up, and, uh, put them in the freezer, some of them, some of them I'm gonna, um, puree and turn into, um, what do you call it, fruit leather, fruit leather, and, um, and let that be that, but anyway, I mean, it's not, I'm not, I'm not too upset, I mean, I wish that I had gone out there maybe yesterday or the day before, but alas, that's how it goes, meanwhile, look at this, this is my, uh, pigeon peas, Loaded with flowers. It's gonna be awesome. Um, this one is um, blooming a lot sooner than um, I recall my other pigeon peas. I haven't grown pigeon peas in like two or three years. It's probably more like three or four actually. But anyway, um, so yeah, pigeon peas are really a tropical plants. <clears throat> it's actually a big shrub. It becomes a big shrub. It's almost like a tree. It can get to be about six feet tall, maybe more, more than that. Bushy. And, um, you know, they kind of make these long, they look like, they look like peas, like regular English peas, almost. But, um, the fragrance on those peas is astounding. My mother used to I love to sit down with a bowl of peas to shell, to shell them because of the fragrance. The fragrance was is so amazing. It's just like, it's just like ethereal, <laughs> subliminal. And that's, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. Sublime. Sublime. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, so can't wait for those. Um, it's like the beginning of August. Today's the third, I believe. No, today's the fourth. And I suspect that I should be having peas by probably 
the end of August. I don't think that they grow that fast, if I remember correctly. I mean, not quite the end of August, it'll be like three weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, like I said, it's just been raining and raining. My sweet potato is like taking over this whole space here. There's like four pots here and it's kind of wanting to go into all of them. Which I will allow because there's really nothing growing in them. I mean there's stuff growing in them but nothing that I really care that much about. There's some string beans in here but they're kind of done. They might come back. I don't know if they will or not. Over there used to be, well they all had corn in them. That one had corn in it and some peas and that had corn and peas. And then um, it's got some reseeded scarlet sage, which is really beautiful. Look at that. Um, it's supposed to be a hummingbird attractant, so that's why I grew it. It's really pretty, but um, the flowers are small. I don't know if the hummingbirds really care about them. And then that's uh, black currant. I reseeded itself from a big bush that I had. I gave it to my sister. And then there's a, an empty pot behind that, which has absolutely nothing in it. So, anyway, actually, no, I planted some some mustard seeds in there. Not mustard. Um, what do you call it? Kale. But uh, I don't see any any sign of that yet. Anyway, oh, and look at this. So my plumeria is going the flower. Isn't that fantastic? It's got this one and it's got another one over there. And I just spied something. I don't know if that's another flower spike in here somewhere. I think I spied another flower spike coming, but I must have been imagining that. Anyway, so it's really cool. This plant is just so florific every year for the last maybe five years. I've had a good show of beautiful yellow flowers. Really lovely, so I can't wait for that. And they're fragrant too. So, anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, nothing much more to report. What are you going to do? So, thanks for watching.